I just experienced the worst fucking just. Okay. I've, you know when people, like, you know, like, they get mad and, like, you know, like, you, they see red, right? I thought that was just, like, an us saying until now. I, like, I got so fucking mad. I was really seeing in red. I, like, I wish I was making this up. I would, like, I just felt fucking violence. Let me tell you what happened. Right? I'm playing Call of Duty fucking DMZ, right? Because I hate myself, right? This game mode is terrible. I don't know, I'm only playing it because you get some cool fucking blueprints from it, right? And there's this fucking weapon case, right? And what the weapon case is, is there's this big fucking... Because it's the Warzone map, right? There's this big circle on the map, right? And there's a weapon case in it. So it's a bunch of enemies, and then there's one juggernaut, right? Shit ton of health, shit ton of armor, he has a minigun, right? So, so if you're really, like, even a fucking centimeter in his sights, he'll kill your ass, right? Luckily for me, Modern Warfare 2... War I can't say the word warfare. Every single time I try, I say warfare for some fucking reason, right? Modern Warfare 2 has introduced the worst fucking tactical equipment in the game, shock sticks, right? They are literal dog shit for every single thing except dealing with the juggernaut, right? Because you just throw at the juggernaut and then he can't do anything. He's just sitting there just... <laughs> right? Like, he's, he's, he's tased, right? You're tasing him. So you do is you throw it at them and your whole team runs over with their fucking shotguns, right? Or their fucking whatever the hell they have on them and they shoot him, right? And he'll die pretty fast. So I'm playing with these two randoms, right? Because I have no friends. And... Um, pretty much what happened was we went in, we killed it, right? We did, I'm not, honest, I died. It was actually my, really, usually the randoms on DMZ are fucking terrible. Actual NPCs, they have no idea what the hell they're doing. They really won't even, like, like they have to, like, walk, turn, and then keep walking, right? Like, they're that bad, right? The, the teammates I was playing with were actually, like, pretty goddamn good. I was the first one to die, right? Because I was the first in the building. This dude, this motherfucker was on full health, right? The juggernaut. This was a one-on-one. -on -one. There was no reason he should have won this. This man was slide canceling all around this fucking building. Anytime that man peeked the corner, he would just put in like three shots and then he would back up, wait for his next opportunity, put in another three shots. And after like five minutes of this, he finally has him dead, right? Really the most triumphant shit I've ever seen out of a random. Usually the random for shit. And I was telling him on the fu fucking voice chat, right? Because... He wasn't t talking back, but I told him early in the game, like, hey, if you can hear me, crouch, right? And he crouched. And so I told him, I was like, dude, usually the randoms on this game are fucking terrible. You just did really, really, really good. Good job, right? You did great. So we take the weapon case, right, off the juggernaut, right? It doesn't actually give you anything, right? The entire point is you just exfil with it and it gives you a weapon blueprint or like a keychain or just something, anything, right? And there's seven total rewards. I already have five, right? So I just need two more. I just gotta leave. Okay, let me, ex before I even continue, the exfil is pretty much, there's like three spots on the map, right? Where you can call in an exfil, you throw in a little fucking smoke grenade, and a helicopter comes down to take you out of the map, and you win, right? And multiple people can do this. It's not like, like there's multiple winners, right? So, also, I don't... I, Tell me if you like what I did in my hair. I did like a middle part. I look like a white per I look even whiter now, right? I look like I go to the local uh, fucking golf club. I don't know. I, I look very fucking... Like, this is that, like, my parents are rich haircut. You feel me? Right? That short middle part. I, I intend to grow it out, but for now, yeah, I have the short middle part. And anyways, we're going to the x -fill, right? So we can get in the fucking helicopter and get out, right? We get in the car, we go, right? We are ambushed by a team of players in a helicopter, right? They come down, they have like RPGs and shit. There is no reason we should have won this fight. I don't know if they just suck or if we're better. We fucking beam the shit out of them. All of them are dead, right? And then the NPC, because there's NPC enemies in um, DMZ as well. And they're like legitimately hard. Like, I'm not even fucking joking. Like, like there's a lot of complaints about having to, like, a lot of people are complaining that it should be easier. <laughs> I don't find them, like, super difficult, but, like, they can be overwhelming if there's a lot of them, right? So, we take out the fucking, the aerial troopers, right? The aerial players that came in to fucking kill us, right? They're dead. Then, uh, like, a couple little stragglers came in, right? The rest of my team is down. It's just me. I'm on, like, half health, right? I'm fucking lighting up these NPC enemies, right? And I'm the one with the weapon case, right? 
I die for my teammate, right? Who is, you know, he's down, right? Everyone's dead, so I go over to him to like, you know, I, right, I run over to him, I get down, right? I start reviving him, right? The fucking helicopter came in, right? The helicopter, if it lands on you, you will die. You will be down, right? I'm the last one alive at this point. That's my team down, right? I'm reviving this motherfucker, right? The fucking nanosecond, like literally 0.2 seconds before he was gonna get up. Helicopter lands on me, right? I die. Weapon case is gone. Everything we just did, this was like a 45 minute game. Everything we just did, thrown in the fucking garbage. At first, I was shocked. I was like, what? The helicopter killed me? Right? And, and following that shock, right? Two seconds went by. And hang on, here footsteps. I do not hear footsteps. Right? So at first, it was shock. For like 10 seconds. Followed by... Just unlimited rage. I didn't even know you could be this angry. I fucking, like, I ripped it, like, like the headphones off my ear, like, cause you know, I have, I'll show you, right? I ripped the fucking headphones off my ear so hard, they actually like scratched the back of my ear, right? Like, I'm not like bleeding, but like the back of my ears are like, like stinging a little, right? I just, really was punching air. Not like not even just because I was like, oh, I'm so mad. Really, it was just pure fucking instinct, right? I was just like, like I've never felt that mad before. I wanted to break every single thing in my fucking room so goddamn hard. Like if I, I had, if I had this much left, like less self control, there would be a fucking stab wound in that backpack, right? There's a, there's a stab wound in my bed, right? I got, because I have a fucking knife, right? Right, I have this. This stupid little fucking knife I got for like $15 10 years ago. I just the fucking stabbed the shit out of my bed. I cut fucking... This is, this is, this is no more. Like, literally, it took me, I want to say, two minutes to come down. Like, to just regain... Not even a sense, but just thought. You know, I hear more footsteps. I no longer hear footsteps. Right. But dude, dude I think I'm gonna start, like if I'm just renting that shit, I think I'm gonna do it in this format where it's just me standing instead of me walking out on my fucking phone like I usually do. But I'm telling you, I've never felt that fucking angry in my entire life. Like, the fucking... Oh my god, I, I wish you could feel the rage I felt. You, I don't even usually get mad at games either. I'm like the last person to get mad at games, right? Like, sometimes I'll get like a little fucking annoyed. Like, you know, some someone's being a bitch and just sitting in a corner. I'll just be like, come on, like, fucking really? Like, I'll get, like, a little, like, bothered, right? I won't get, like, I guess, angry, though. This is the first time I've gotten angry in a game in so fucking long, dude. So, yeah, I, my, the headphones weren't expensive, either. They were, like, 15 bucks, and my birthday's coming up. It's not a huge deal. I can just replace them. Still, though, here's the fucking stab wound in my bed. Uh, I'm trying to angle the camera, because I can't, like... It's like I'm looking at the screen right now, so the screen is face. Yeah, like you can see, it's fucking. Like, dude, I'm I'm not playing DMZ for the rest of the night. What are we? Do you, all right, the thing that makes me mad about this, right? I don't. All right, I don't even know how, but my my controller managed to get out of this skate free, right? Fine, completely fine. You have no fucking clue how hard it is to get weapon cases with randoms. Right, I've been trying all day, all day, right? And I didn't want to like make a fucking post on the like Call of Duty like Discord because I just I, I don't feel like talking to some like anybody right now, right? I just want to do this shit in silence and peace, right? This is 
Alright, there was a dude earlier I was playing with, right? He was actually pretty good. He was almost, he was pretty much as good as this dude who I was just telling you, like, clutch the fuck up, right? Pretty much as good, right? We got the weapon case twice in a fucking row, and both times while we were waiting for the expo helicopter, we got jumped and died, and then he got off, right? And that, and that was the only two times I, I got the weapon case the entire day. I don't, like, I made it sound easy. Killing that juggernaut literally, like, is a fucking impossible unless your entire team is alive. It is a miracle that man pulled that shit off. Right? And he... And he didn't even have shock sticks, right? He was, like, he was doing this completely freehand, right? If he had shock sticks, that's a different story because you can really just throw it and he's incapacitated, right? This man literally just had RPK, nothing else, and he saw all that shit. No other fucking random on DMZ can do that. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. Maybe they just put, they just funneled all the fucking brain damaged people that are too stupid to play, like, Warzone into DMZ. Literally, all your fucking teammates, if you're in randoms, they are going to be either, like, alright, 1 in 20 chance they're going to be, like, the best players fucking alive. The other 19 are going to be just, like, my Linda could really beat them in a fucking 1v1 sniper duel, right? Let me do the, the Andrew Tate finger position, assert some power, right? But, um, yeah, dude, I'm telling you, just fucking the rage I felt. I'm, I'm telling you, like, I very rarely get, because I'm used to not getting mad at shit, right? I used to get mad at shit a lot, and then I just told him, and then, you know, I kind of had to, like, stop getting mad at shit, because I was just mad all the time, like my mom, right? Like, I just, I want to fucking scream at her all the time, but every time she walks in here, I just look down at my phone, you know, ignore her, and try and just stay quiet, right? Every single time she comes into this room, it is a battle with myself not to fucking scream at her. But anyways... This is the first time I felt this angry in so fucking long. All right, different Andrew Tate finger position to assert some more power. Now, let me scratch my back. Um, I want to say I stabbed my bed. It was in the same spot, you know? Like, I'm not sure how like, surprised with that. You think, like, I stabbed my bed like 50 fucking times, there should be multiple wounds. Nope, I hit the exact same spot every single fucking time. There was one hole. And, uh. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I want to say, if I had to guess a number. I would say I stand my bed like 15 times. And I think the reason I was so fucking mad is because it's like, it's one thing if like, you know, the helicopter team that came down and killed us, right? That's one thing, right? At least they fucking earned it, right? I got crushed by a helicopter. It, there have been people complaining about this, by the way, where it's like, why sh shouldn't they just make it so the helicopter teleports you to the side and instead of, I don't know, just fucking crushing you? Yeah, like, there have been people complaining about this. And Activision, being the amazing company that they are, they're just like, hey, we are blind and deaf to the bullshit. Yeah. Because the argument with it is fucking people will like drive up with their cars, right? They'll call them the expo and then they'll run away, you know, because they don't want to get shot by like people that are camping the expo. So the expo comes in, they jump in the helicopter, but it takes a while to get like fully down, I guess. Like, like, you'll, like let's say this is the ground, right? And this is like, I guess like, I guess the top of the map, right? It'll come down, 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 and then it's at the ground, but it'll just keep very slowly drifting down until it's at the bottom. Right, and then it'll go back up. So people will jump in, right, as it's drifting down, and it'll land on their cars, it'll explode and kill them while they're in the helicopter, and that's why people have been complaining. It sounds like a niche issue, but they're, like, it's, the hitbox on this fucking, like, the helicopter is fucked up, so it's like, it, it, it could be like 10 feet away, and it'll still just fucking explode and kill you. 
right? So people have been complaining about it. Getting killed by a fucking helicopter. That's it's not it's not even like an enemy either. It's my own fucking friendly helicopter. There's no reason why it should be able to kill me. But it does. So it's like like I was just so fucking mad. It's like we did all that. We had the most impressive fucking like these have been the most impressive randoms I've ever fucking played with. Oh, and they died as well, right? Because they were under the helicopter, right? They're dead too. And we hit the clutch play of a fucking millennia, right? Versus players, versus the juggernaut, versus the fucking NPCs that came at the end. All of that just to get killed by a helicopter. Plus, I've been trying all day to get a fucking weapon case. And I was this fucking close, and I missed. Like, I was, and I was already ticked off at this point, because I was, like, this was, like, my 50th time trying. And this was a long ass fucking game. I, I and and I had like fifty other items on me. Like I know I had a fucking like key for like a chest somewhere that I would have liked to keep, but now I don't because I died. Like DMZ is just genuinely alright. It's not a bad game mode. I really do like DMZ. You just have to be playing with fucking friends. Cause if you are playing with randoms, alright, here's the three possibilities, right? Either they suck. They want to do something else because, you know, there's a lot of things to do. You can go do contracts, you know, you can do the weapon case, you can fucking, there's a chemist you can go kill, and he'll give you, like, a gun pool joint. A lot of players want to do that. A lot of people are just fucking AFK. Some people, you know, they'll log in, they don't like their fucking squad, so they'll just run off to the X-Fill without their team and leave. Right? Or maybe they're all of the fucking above. You know, it's just everyone in DMZ is just such an incompetent fucking asshole. And none of them have voice chat, weirdly enough. I don't know if it's a, like something wrong with my settings. I've never heard anybody respond to my voice chats on DMZ. And I know they're on, like the little microphone icon is on the fucking side. It's just nobody says anything back. But yeah, DMZ is just... Like, good game mode, it, the, my main issue with it is just the fucking people. Like, I wish Jace or, like, anybody would get on to just play it whenever. But I know Jace doesn't like it, understandably, because most people don't. But... Actually, I don't, I don't even think he... I, I just... I don't even think he just wants to try it, which is fine. I mean, I didn't want to at first. And once I'm done getting these blueprints, I probably will never touch it again, because I fucking hate it. But... Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's like about it. I don't know. I'm. I don't learn my lesson, so I'm going to go try and get another fucking weapon case. God damn, my hair looked better when it was like here. And then I pick up my phone and I bring it up here, and it looks like shit. I give up, dog. Okay, I've been pointing myself out on this for the past, like, week, right? Because one of my go-to catchphrases for when I'm playing Modern Warfare is, I give up, dog, right? Because I just, like, some bullshit will happen, right? And it's just like, like, I don't know, I'll get killed by, like, a fucking, somebody in a corner with a sniper rifle, just fucking proning, right? And I'll be like, I give up, dog. And every time, in the back of my head, just my little fucking subconscious is like, what's up, dog? And I just want to rip, like, my fucking, like, uh, frontal, my frontal little belt, like, it's the bite of 87. Like, it's disappointment, because it's disappointment in the person that killed me, right? Because usually they're, like, camping, right? So it's, it'll be, like, you know, like, the, the, like, that initial disappointment, and then the disappointment in myself after I'm, like, what's up, dog? Like, it's, it's like, a combo disappointment. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, yeah, that's it. See ya.